Friday night. We're feeling all right. I've notified my loved ones. I've informed my landlord even. Listen, if you notice any strange behavior, if I don't come home until after midnight, if my diet consists of merely Red Bull and beef jerky, if I'm hanging out in high school parking lots with a video camera, it's not weird. Just chalk it up to high school football season. FNF returns in week one. Our game of the week is still in progress and it is a doozy. It's Johnson and Judson, the rubber match. It's 14-13, Judson up by one, scratch that. They pound it in, 21-13 in the fourth, fourth quarter. Looks like the Rockets might seize control, but here come the Jaguars, the answer. They punch it in for the score, they cut it to 21-19. Do not get, they just scored. Do not get the two. I'm told it is Johnson football, Four seconds left in the red zone. We'll update you on that final score tomorrow. How about a rumble in the city of San Antonio? Sotomayor and Clark. Soto's only been playing varsity ball for three seasons. Clark trying to let them know they've been around. They're in business. Putting it in the red zone there. Next play though, uh-oh, turmoil. And it's going the other way. Right place, right time. Into the arms of Sean Wasley, the team captain. Give him a helmet sticker. Nobody in his way. He takes it the distance for the touchdown. Soto Cats up by a score. But how about the quarterback of Soto Mayor? Look at that little duck in. Chauncey Moon. That's what we call a full moon up here in San Antonio. Put a little note on that one because we might be seeing it again next week. Play of the week nominee. Clark is trying to answer. They can't get anything going. It's the senior captain yet again, your boy Wasley Sotomayor with a big victory in this ball game. How about this? Third year of varsity ball, unfazed. They knock off the stalwarts 33 to 10. Best offense in the state though, they're calling it the Steel Knights. Knights loaded with college talent. They're open with a perennial playoff contender, Liberty Hill. Picking up where they left off, Jalen Cooper. They love this in Dallas. The SMU commit. Throw it up, give him a chance. Touchdown, Knights breaking the seal. I'll tell you, Liberty Hill had no answer for this young man, Cooper, early on. Give him liberty, give him death. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Socially distanced in the end zone. Get used to his name. We're going to be saying it all fall long. But Liberty Hill, they were a playoff team again now, I mentioned. They're going around the outside, around the outside. My favorite Will Smith song, Bill, what is it? Summertime. Switch. Oh, DJ man. DJ Seaborn and still the David signs. Yep, we got to watch the trickeration. But no matter, when you've got an offense like Steele's, it's all good. The future Oklahoma Sooner. I mean, you got SMU with Cooper. You got Oklahoma State with Ocapel. Oklahoma with Jonathan Hatton. He takes it in from 30 yards out. This steel offense, it's gonna be tough. Don't blink with these guys. Wow. Every time you turn your head, these guys are in the painted grass. Steel sticking to script. They get a big victory in this ball game. All they have to do is kneel it out because they're up by double digits and more. Those steel, steel Knights, it's state title or bust for them, BT. That team, it was like a college team out there. It essentially wow. is. I mean, you've yeah, got already. Cooper, SMU, Royal Capel, Oklahoma State. The quarterback's going to UTEP. The running back's going to Oklahoma. It's like a full mailbox I over there with the college offer. The, the, the Sotomayor coach was trying to go one of those air bumps with that team captain. <laughs> No doubt. It was, was a it, miserable You can slide a textbook out awesome. of there. It was <laughs> awesome. He's been working on that bird all, all summer. <laughs> all right, outside tonight, it's halftime of Friday Night Football. 